Do you want drifts like this? How about like this? In this video, you'll learn everything you need to know about how to tune your car to drift in Forza Motorsport 7. What is going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to build a drift car in Forza Motorsport 7. So I have this 240 and I plan on putting a V8 in it. So this 6.2, it's like an LS1, should supply me some easy power. Um, maybe yeah, I'll, I'll turbo it as well. Um, so I'm going to want to build this thing basically um, not super high horsepower, but decently high. So like around 800s is what I would prefer. So right now I'm just making it look like a drift car. <laughs> yeah, you can't have a drift car without it looking like one, right? So that um, what's going on here. I'm just going to I'm just going to buy this. OK. All right, so um, let's do some tire compounds. So I'm going to do the race tires. The front will have 255s. I'd like to go wider. We'll see how it see how it works. Um, probably like a 265, 275, I'm thinking, for the rear. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 275. And then the wheels, I kind of want something bronzy and five-spoke. No. Um, oh, here we go. These. Yes, these, absolutely. Wheels are so expensive in this game. We'll keep them stock size there. All right, so now I'm just going to do all basic bolt-ons. And maybe some internals. Actually, maybe I'll do an entire engine build with everything, except keep the turbos stock well not stock but you know the stock stage that they have them on here so let's see i don't know maybe uh 953 that's way too much 873 no i want to stay around 800 um yeah i'll just i'll stay there i'm gonna stay at the stock one uh throw an intercooler in it And yeah, so just the flywheel for some nice quick revs. We could bore the engine. Might as well throw some pistons in since we're doing that too. 853. It's not terrible. All right, so then suspension, everything is getting maxed out. Obviously, for your actual coilovers and stuff, you have to go with drift suspension to get all the sick angles. And then you need adjustable sway bars, fully adjustable sway bars. Got to throw a cage in there just for the, the, the sick factor. And then completely gut it. Okay, and now drivetrain. And again, everything's maxed out for this too. Okay, all right, now we'll tune it. So for tires, I drop them seven clicks low. So 26 and a half PSI. I feel that gives me good traction. Now for gearing, I, I use 355, 373, or 410. It really depends. I'll start out with the 373s. Um, and then third through sixth, it is six clicks down towards speed. That'll allow you to grab more of the gear uh, front camber is all the way negative, and rear camber is a half a degree positive. Front toe, I usually do a degree of toe out, and then a half a degree of toe in. And then caster angle is fully maxed out at 7 degrees. Now with the roll bars, I just like to set this up like I set my own vehicle up, so there is no sway bar in my car. So I'm going to make this virtually non-existent in the front. The rear is a little, a little less too, and then the springs are what's really going to be holding your front end from swaying so like 850 pounds or so and then the rear 
Maybe I'll put down to like 350 to start. I'll probably end up lowering it to around 250 because it's not going to be like grippy enough. So then ride height, um, one click above seems okay. Uh, again, front stiff, rear is virtually not there. Um, and then the same for the bump stiffness, but it's just on a smaller scale. I don't ditch downforce or brakes and then high 100% on XL and D cell. That's basically going to give you a welded differential locked all the time. Uh, I guess now we'll just test it here. This is such an awesome track. Let's see how it does. Um, well, I don't like this. Oh, shit. All right, so let's see how it's going. I could already tell you the gears are way too high. I'm gonna fix that. I'm gonna low the, lower the rear pressure down as well. Um, and then put about 355s in it. Try that. I really feel like this is gonna have to have probably 276s or something like that. Um, maybe my springs, I'll put them down to 250 as well. Now let's see. Oh yeah, this is way better. Gotta keep it in fifth gear. I don't know, it's very like understeery. I never drifted with one of these before. I don't I don't really like this car to be honest. I usually use the S15s or the Mustangs or something. But uh, this ain't doing too bad. I mean, it's not my cup of tea. But it's not doing terrible. Let's keep her going. Oops. All right, in we go. Wow, I do not like this car. Holy crap. I definitely have too small tires in the front of this thing. I can't grip in the front. It's just like pushing through all the corners and understeering real bad. This is, that was a good one. I swear, I, I really don't suck this much. I just, I can't get down with this car. I don't know what it is. Let's see how she does on this big sweeper now. Oh yeah, so as you can tell, it's not red anymore. I, uh, I did that and I, um, I painted the car something cool to it. You know, you gotta make it look like a drift car. God, this car does not want to stay out there. I do not like this thing. Yeah, it's like, it, it's, it has like way too much power and not enough anything else. Oh, that's the line I needed. I love this corner. It's just so long. I wish I could just keep it floored the whole time, though. Oh, God, I'm going to flip it. It's going. There it goes. That's it. It's done. All right, so just so you guys don't think I suck, here's me in my S15. I, uh, I made this car a while ago, and I've, I've spent a lot of time getting this thing to perform the way it does right now, which you'll see. <laughs> I have a lot of hours in the setup of this car. This car is amazing. It's got a rotary in it and everything, so like if you ever if you ever see me play online, this is what I'm usually using. I love this car. It's like 750 horsepower or something like that, but this thing is awesome. It just works. It doesn't... I never really have a hard time driving this car at all. It's got all the angle, you know, just like every other car would in this game if you put the drift suspension in it. <laughs> yeah, this car is super sweet. I'll get back on the S14. Don't worry. Let's see what I can do here. Let's connect this whole thing. Pull a big, nice ripper into this corner. Ooh, yes. I love this car. It's just, it handles so well. And it's just amazing. Everything about it. 
It's a little underpowered sometimes on some tracks, like if they're big and long. Like these corners are easy because it's kind of a short track, but it runs out of gear a lot. But I really like how it's got a 10,000 RPM rev limit. That really helps a lot too. Does really good with these big sweeping corners as well. And it just sounds neat. Oops. Just sounds really freaking cool. Oh yeah, there we go. All right. Let's try it out a different car, shall we? All right, now we're at Sonoma. This is like one of my favorite tracks here. Oh, I got real nice close to that wall. Oh, connect it. Let's go. This is like my favorite, favorite part of this whole track. It's like a nice little switchback section. You know what? I, I found out that they actually have a Sonoma Drift in real life. And I would love to get my car out to California, but I don't have, you know, um, I don't know how to put it, money to do so. Oh, this corner always gets me. I want to get this whole thing and just switch into the back, but I can't ever build a car that's fast enough. Oh, I got it. Holy crap. All right, guys. So that's going to be it for today. Just a little quick video on how I like to tune my drift cars in Forza 7. Um, I hope you can figure out how to do it yourself if you don't know how. That's just a little tune on how to do it and how I start it. And then I, I'll just, you know, mess around with it as I go. It's a nice little fun game to play. If you ever want to play, my uh, gamer tag is Sneakiest Boot. I have it on Xbox. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.